Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Al Sharpton just made a terrifying announcement about 2020 run for president. Just when you thought the political arena couldn't get any crazier, along comes Al Sharpton. The Reverend Al Sharpton, who is one of the most visible figures of the Black Lives Matter movement, always seems to pop up to profit on a social justice agenda. Now, he's emerged once again and this time with a statement that most conservative Americans do not want to hear. Sharpton was in Florida last weekend where he spent his time orchestrating protests against Florida's Stand Your Ground laws after the D.H. of Mark Heiss McLaughlin. McLaughlin had allegedly attacked another person who KD him during the incident having feared for their life. McLaughlin's KR was not arrested since it was determined to be an act of self-defense. Sharpton was on the scene of that protest and has since announced that he's not ruling out a presidential run in 2020. Here is more via the Washington Free Beacon. MSNBC host and civil rights activist Al Sharpton said in a new interview he won't rule out a run for president in 2020, adding he isn't currently mounting a bid. I never rule anything out, Sharpton told BuzzFeed News. The progressive firebrand and outspoken critic of President Donald Trump ran for the Democratic presidential nomination in 2004, although it was viewed as more of a stunt than a serious attempt at the White House. He also ran previously for U.S. Senate and New York mayor. Sharpton was a strong ally of President Barack Obama and said he would never use his MSNBC platform to criticize his administration. Sharpton, who has known Trump for decades as a fellow fixture of New York, has blasted him as racist. If Sharpton did take the plunge in 2020, he would likely join a crowded field of candidates. Among those rumored to be considering or actively considering a run include former Vice President Joe Biden, Senator Bernie Sanders, I, Vermont, Senator Kamala Harris, D. California, Senator Cory Booker, D, NJ, Senator Elizabeth Warren, D, Mass, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, D, NY, former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz, former Massachusetts Governor Deval Patrick, D, and former Attorney General Eric Holder. A spokesperson told BuzzFeed Sharpton Civil Rights Organization, National Action Network, is focused on turning out voters for the midterms, where Democrats have their eyes on taking back at least the House of Representatives. Sharpton has hosted MSNBC's Politics Nation since 2011. The show aired weeknights until 2015, when he was pushed to just Sunday mornings. Sharpton, of course, has been highly critical of President Donald Trump for who knows what reason. He even went as far as to call the president a racist at the Sunday rally because Trump stumped for Republican Congressman Ron DeSantis of Florida and didn't mention McLaughlin's name. But the reverend didn't stop there. He also criticized Pastor Daryl Scott, who back on August 2 RD referred to President Trump as the most pro-black president that we've had in our lifetime. He also argued that black ministers were cowards for not bringing up McLaughlin's name when they visited the White House that day. He later added, I won't bow to Pharaoh, and I won't bow to Donald Trump. If Sharpton were to run actually run in 2020, he would join a crowded Democratic primary. Senator Kamala Harris of California, Senator Kirsten Gillibrand of New York and former Vice President for Barack Hussein Obama, Joe Biden are just a few high-profile Democrats who have hinted to date about running for the Democratic Party presidential nomination in hopes they can take down President Trump. This isn't the first time Al Sharpton has run for public office. He ran for the Senate three times in the 1980s and 1990s and the presidency in 2004, obviously, he lost every time. Here is what Al Sharpton was saying about 2020 just two months ago via The Hill. The Reverend Al Sharpton reportedly said Wednesday that President Trump is set to win re-election in 2020 because Democrats are too tame to deal with an untamed opponent. Sharpton told The Guardian during a visit to the United Kingdom that Democrats likely to face off against Trump in 2020 are failing to excite opposition to the president. He said a lack of leadership would lead to a bad result for Democrats in the midterm elections and noted that mobilization is needed for a landslide win. They've lost the ability to dramatize, Sharpton said. He understands spectacle and drama and they don't. Sharpton said that Democrats should be deliberately getting themselves arrested by immigration and customs enforcement over the current controversy concerning the policy of separating migrant parents from their children at the border. What was the civil rights movement if not drama? Martin Luther King was the master of street theater, Sharpton said. No one would have listened if he just gave speeches. According to Sharpton, one candidate who could beat Trump in a heartbeat in 2020 is Oprah Winfrey because she is capable of speaking to poor workers. Winfrey has repeatedly said she has no interest in a White House bid. 
Sharpton also said black voters would likely support former Vice President Joe Biden if he were to run for president because he covered Obama's back for eight years. Sharpton said Senator Bernie Sanders, I Vermont, failed to get black support during his 2016 Oval Office run because he focused on class and not race. He predicted Senator Elizabeth Warren, D. Mass, could get more support from blacks because she was more attuned to the racial dimension. Democrats need to get an effective message based on rights, jobs and health care instead of going after Trump for his scandals, Sharpton told The Guardian. You got to get the message right, then you'll get the messenger, he said, adding that Democrats can just wait for the president to self-destruct. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.